Hey guys, this morning we are going to decorate the mantel. And I've got some of it already up there, that way I'm not having to climb around so much to get it there. But we're gonna get it ready for Easter. Uh, this window that I have up here is a window that we found at a flea market, or actually my parents found it for me. It's not exactly what I want, but it'll work for now until I can find something that I do like. Uh, the, the wreath that's in the middle, I got it from Kirkland's. It was $24. And the M for my last name is in the middle. I got it at uh, the Dollar General for five bucks. So I just placed it in there. It was real easy. I didn't, it's not attached to anything. I just kind of pushed it in there so it may fall out for all I know. But this is the garland I already had up here. I got it at Hobby Lobby when it was half off. It was regular $49.99. <clears throat> and I don't, I don't have any other garland, so if I find some, I may replace it, but I'm just gonna work with what I've got so I'm not having to spend any more money for a certain holiday. So, we're just gonna jump right in. What I have first, I didn't have any shutters, and I wanted to put some black shutters up there. Kind of looked around, I couldn't find anything that I wanted, so I went to Lowe's, and Lowe's, have these black shutters you can see them they're two for $32 I believe and they're plastic but I didn't know how they would work so I just got them and I've set them up there already to see if I liked it and you can't tell that they're fake they they look like the real wood up here so I'm just gonna place them up here how I want them I may have to get my lighter I'm not sure I'm kind of kind of challenged with the hot. I'm gonna put one over here on this side. At least these are light. I just got this garland up here with these strips. I forgot what they're called. So they've got the little hooks on them. So I've just got it hooked up there. So they're real easy to knock off. That looks pretty good. And see, when they're up there, you can't tell that they're the plastic ones. So it makes it real easy to get them up and down and move them wherever you want to. I tied the top of that wreath with a piece of ribbon. It's a checkered ribbon. I thought it looked real cute with the black. It kind of tied it in together. Probably should have had a little bit bigger piece, but that's what I had, so I'm working with it. <clears throat> I've got some stuff sitting over here. This is one of my candle holders that I had gotten from Kirkland's. It's the, it's the shorter one, because one's a little bit taller than this. <clears throat> it was $14.99. I really like it. These are like probably my favorite candle holders. But I'm gonna just set it over here. Uh, I'm gonna do candle holders on each end. And then I'll put some rabbits in the middle. <clears throat> I grabbed this candle holder. It's not the same, but it's still farmhouse look and it's white. It came from Hobby Lobby and it was half off. It was $16.99 if I can get it to focus in on it. <clears throat> but I, this is the only one they had of this and I had a shorter one that kind of matched it. So I'm gonna put it over here on this side. I'll probably have to move these around once I get everything up there to get it how I want it. I got these, they're really cute. I got them, it's called Hangers of Hope and it's kind of like a Goodwill. But it came, there was two of them. There's a short one and a big one. And I got them both for $2.99, which was a steal of a deal. What they were, they used to be planters because I looked them up the other day trying to figure out what they were. They used to have pots that were at the bottom of them. They had them on hay needle for $80 for three of them. So $2.99 was a great deal. So I took them outside. They were just the wire metal. I took them outside and got some of the spray chalk paint and just dusted them. And I thought they turned out really cute. 
So I'm gonna put a big one over here and a small one over here. If you remember my candles, these were the ones that I got at Canton Trade Days that's got the, the flicker on it. You see, like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn them on for now so you can have the look of it. So I'm gonna set it over here. And I'm gonna set this on top of it. Maybe. My mantle's not very wide, so it's kind of a challenge to get stuff up there. So this garland actually hides if it kind of hangs over a little bit. <clears throat> and then I've got my smaller candle. Let me turn it on. There we go. I've got this smaller one, and I'm gonna put it underneath this smaller bell or whatever you want to call it. Let me get my ladder so I can get it positioned. There. And then if you've seen in my haul, I had gotten this egg. I got it at Marshall's. And I'm gonna set it on top of this candle holder. I got it for $6.99. I'm gonna set it over here. My sticky ladder. know how well you can see this and then I've got my garden ball I'm gonna put it over here on this side <clears throat> all right now for the best part the bunnies got my jackrabbit isn't it cute he is $27.99, 40% off at Hobby Lobby. Pretty big. He's cute. I'm going to set him over here on this side. Very carefully. There we go. And then I got my mom to go try to find another style, and she found one and brought me this one home. And he is also $27.99. Looks like he's praying. I'm gonna set him on this side. There go. I think it's even. Isn't that cute? It turned out really good. I think I'm going to try to find me a different wreath, a more Easter look wreath. If I find one, I'll take that one down and replace it. But right now, this was things that I had around the house or the window especially. Um, but just pulled together and it gave it an Easter spring look. And I love it. Okay, I'm going to reposition the camera and we're going to do the bottom part, the hearth. Um, get it ready for Easter now. So let me get the camera situated. Okay, so we're going to get ready to do the bottom. I've got it all cleaned off, except for my screen cover. So here's the top, and it's done. So now we're going to move down here, and we're going to put some bunnies over here on this side. And we're gonna put some bunnies over here on this side. We're still using the fireplace, so I don't wanna block it with anything. Okay, so we're gonna start on this side. We're gonna put these metal bunnies. They won't quit hanging on my clothes. We're gonna use these metal bunnies. This big one, it came from Marshall's, and it was $19.99. And this little one, let's see if I can get it. It was $14.99. I thought they were really cute. So I'm gonna set them over here. You can see that in the camera. And then I'm just gonna sit the little one beside it like that. 
real cute. And then I've got the, the mama and the baby. See that one? That one's really cute. And it came from Marshall's as well. It was $19.99. So I'm just gonna set this one right here. Just like that. I've got some little greenery picks. These are just some that I had laying around. I didn't go out and buy them. Got them at Hobby Lobby when they were half off. I think they were $5.99 a piece. So I'm just gonna stick them underneath just to kind of give some color because they are gray and it kind of makes it blob just like that. So I'm just gonna stick them underneath there. Just like that. See in that little bit of greenery, it just kind of adds some color. Looks like I need to find another one and I may have to go buy one for that, but that gives it a little bit of color against that white. And then I've got my bundle of carrots. This was in that box I told you that I had to cut the tops off of. And then I just took some of the, the uh, string that was going across the top and just wrapped it around three carrots where it looked like a bundle. And set it in there like that. And then one of my eggs that came out from Ross, it's got all the bling bling on it. I'll just set it in there. So it gives it a little splash of color. And I like it for now. I may change it, who knows. I'm always changing something. So let's move over here to the other side. If I can do it without dropping you. Eh, hold on. Okay. Now, we're gonna start over here on this side. I'm gonna put these little green rabbits, put those, and I'm gonna use this stand I got from Pier 1. It was $12.99. I love getting these little stands because it helps with adding height to stuff. Just set that down. And then, I've got the other rabbit. He was $12.99, standing on his head. So I'm gonna put him over here beside that stand because I'm gonna put this other one sitting on the stand to add a little height. He was $12.99 as well at Marshall's. Just kinda of put it there. These rock fireplaces, it makes it really hard to put stuff on it. And then I thought I would get one of these balls, the garden balls. And I'm gonna put it up here where it looks like he's kicking it in the air. Just kind of set it up there. That way it gives it a little brown over here. And I got me a carrot. I'm gonna set that carrot right there if I can get it to stay. There we go. Okay, so now I'm done. And I'm gonna show you the overall look. Just kind of move it around where you can see. See the little bunnies, aren't they cute? I thought it turned out really cute, I liked it. I thought I'd show you some other things over here that I've kind of added. See the pig? You remember the pig? I put the bow on him, the black and white, so I'd kind of tie stuff in. These pigs, I really wanted to show y'all, they are so cute. 
I got these from Bucky's. If you know what Bucky's is, I love when I get to go. They're about two hours from us. But they were $17.99 a piece. And then I got this little stand. It was $18. Kind of high, but I really liked it. And then I got that little pig. Aren't they cute? How farmhouse is that? And then I got that plate at Pier 1. And then my hen that I had over there in that bird cage over there by the blooming lamps. I took it out and put it over here for now because of Easter and putting other things. And my blessed son. This is the other thing I got at Bucky's. It's a chalk painted hen. And I love it. And my cow plate that came from Pier 1. And then the little flower arrangement stuck some eggs in it. Set over there. I'll give you a view of it. If I can get back here. It's really cute though. I like the, the animal farmhouse look that this is, has gotten. Still think I'm gonna paint it though. They wait until it warms up and gets better outside. But that's what that looks like now. I changed it up a little bit so I thought I'd share with you. Here's another place that I haven't showed you. I got this scale at Kirkland's. I think it was on sale for $30 maybe. But uh, it was kind of a challenge trying to figure out what to do with it. I got it home, then I didn't know what to do with it. So I just tied the bow where the black and white would kind of pull. I'm not through with this area over here. I got this, this table at uh, Hobby Lobby about three or four years ago and it's so stinking heavy that I'd like to find me another table to go right here in this corner and then take these pictures down and put something else there. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do yet, but this is what's over here for now. I got the little Hoppin' Bunny sign. I got it at Hobby Lobby. See how much it was. It was $9.99, 40% off. Just set that there. Put me a little garden ball, set it there. Got the nest at Pier 1, it was $7.99. And this over here, got it at the dollar store for $2. I thought it was real cute. That's all I've done over there. But I like it, I like it for now anyway. I change stuff so much that nothing gets to sit for long in one place or I'm moving it around. Well, I hope you liked what I showed you today. I've got some other things to show you, but I don't want to show you all in one day or then I run out of stuff to record. Um, I hadn't been up too long, so I still look like I'm asleep. But the kids, I say the kids, my daughter, she's 14. My husband just took her to school and he's headed off to work. Um, I hear my parents getting up, moving around back there. Uh, so I want to get off of here before some noise starts happening around here. Um, I don't know if I've ever showed you Major. Hold on, let me show you. This is Mage. This is my buddy right here. He's such a sweetheart. Hey, Major. Hey, Major. You gonna look at Mama? Uh, he's always right beside me wherever I go. I love him. He is, how old are you, Mage? I think he's two and a half, two and a half years old. But he's such a sweetheart. We have five dogs that are in the house, but he's privileged. He gets to stay out all day. The other ones are small dogs that'll drive you crazy. But he's my baby. Say bye, Meiji. Okay, I just thought I had to share. He, he's my love and he sits right beside me all the time, and so he's always curious what I'm doing. So he got to be famous today and get on the camera. But uh, 
Y'all have a good day, good weekend. It's supposed to rain here and be nasty all weekend. Uh, so y'all be careful out there. Bye.